for people who are on the fence about having kids, but you ended up having kids, I want to know, do you feel happier? Hey beautiful people, how you are doing today? It's your girl Destiny here and welcome back to my channel. How you are doing? Hope you guys are doing fantastic. So today's video, it is an interesting video. Like I'm so itchy for this video. So this video is a video of a woman who came online to ask a very valid question. So she went on to ask the question that, you know what, people that were on the fence of having kids, that people that probably were like, I don't want kids, I want kids, I want kids. When you not decided eventually you have kids, what was it like? Did you regret it? Does it make you feel fulfilled? Was it something like you were happy like eventually I did it? Or was it something you're like, you know what, I could have just stick to that instinct and don't have this kid? I know some of us here on this channel, we are like, you know what, uh, we're going child free, <laughs> most of us. Most of us on this channel, we're very proudly child free people and we love our life, we're living our life. But I know there are also some group of people that hear what we say, talk about how it is having a child raising the child be very intentional about life why there are some people that are still like yeah or they're like you know what i want to have kids i do i might not want to have kids this is the reason one minute they want to have one minute they want to have and sometimes it's out of fear and they don't know what it is because once you have kids you can take it back okay once you have these kids you can't take it back so i understand that um indecisiveness not knowing what to do so this question this woman asks it's valid and i'm super here for it anyway guys for, let's go check out what this woman has to say let's just go let's go hear her out and then we'll come back and talk more because ah we have for this conversation for people who are on the fence about having kids but you ended up having kids i want to know stitch this or comment down below do you feel happier and more fulfilled do you feel different in a good way now that you have kids or like, what, what is the feeling? Like, do you regret it? Do you feel, are you glad that you had them? I know that people say whenever they do have kids, even if they were on the fence, that like, you love your kids no matter what, obviously. But I do know that some people do have regret and it's a really hard thing to talk about. Like, obviously you love your kids mm -hmm. and you're gonna do everything you possibly can for them. But like, I, I just have never been the person that's like, oh my God, I can't wait to have a family and I'm so on the fence about it. And there's some days where I could see myself having kids and then there's other days where I absolutely cannot. And I hear all the time people who don't have kids, how happy they are that they didn't have kids. But then like, it's just such a big decision and I don't know. I feel like my identity is a huge thing. Like having my identity change from just being me, an individual person, and then all of a sudden being the caretaker and the mother of somebody is like a huge, I just feel like that mindset shift would be crazy for me and would honestly kind of screw me up a little bit. And just the responsibility and the energy and the time and the money and everything that goes into having kids, it's just so much. And it's it's such, such a big decision and I'm, I just, I just wanna know. I wanna know, how do you feel now that you have them? Would you do anything differently? So please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. Love to know what you think about this amazing conversation down in the comment section, okay? I want to know what you think, so go ahead and share your thoughts, okay? I, I can't wait to read from you guys on this one, okay? Because I, I know some of you guys have kids, yeah? Some of you guys are child-free. I want to know your thoughts. Just go down and share your thoughts. But this video got a lot of people respond. People that have had kids, both the men, women, everybody are sharing their experience especially the people the people that were sharing their experience are people that were on the fence like the lady asked for people that are on the fence not knowing if they want to have kids or have kids whether they regret it or now i'm here for it i want people to really before you move ahead to go have kids create more pe human beings reprocreate on this earth know what exactly you're getting yourself into so let's go check out what people have to say their thoughts on this and their own if it was more fulfilling in their life or not well let's go check it out but before we get into this video and yeah they will respond if you haven't subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you get notified once i upload video because we'll post video every single day two videos every day so you don't want to miss it okay so let's go check yeah there are one response on this and then i'll come back and share more of my thoughts but go down in the comment section and share your own thoughts okay i want to know stitch this or comment down below do you feel happier listen to me listen to me now i'm gonna try to say this in a way that doesn't hurt my kid in 20 years but also gets my point across do I regret having my children? Absolutely not. I love them. And I wouldn't do a thing differently. 
if I could go back in time and choose to not have kids, not knowing my children, absolutely, I would not have kids. The problem is both paths are extremely fulfilling. I was very fulfilled on my own. Mm -hmm. Having children opened my eyes to a love I've never known before. But you can't have both. You gain so much by having children, yes, but you lose so much. And I was not prepared for my identity to be completely gone. Mm -hmm. Everyone's situation is different, but no, I do not feel more fulfilled. I feel fulfilled in a very different, different. way. Do you feel happier and more fulfilled? Do you? So I have a unique perspective with my child not having been planned. I was actually talking to my husband about this today. He was just saying he could never imagine the amount of joy that this child has brought our lives. Like he came and fathom it. The day-to-day -day of our lives is so happy and so joyful and we feel so fulfilled. And I feel like before that was simply not the case for me personally. I was always waiting for the weekend, waiting for the next trip, waiting for something. Rarely was I enjoying the day-to-day -day, and that has changed 1000%. Above all else, above the joy, above the fulfillment, I feel like this child has pushed me in ways that have just made me better. I have reached financial goals, professional goals with him as the motivator. Things I wouldn't have taken chances on myself prior with professionally. And then like, I bought a house at 23. I only wanted to do this for him. And now to say that I've achieved that, I, I owe it all to him. My husband has gone back to school full time to become a computer engineer. We are leveling up all thanks to him. And it's beautiful and it's amazing because we weren't sure if we wanted children and the decision was made for us. I think any parent can say like, I can't imagine my life without my child, but I don't know who we would be without him. And it wouldn't be as good of a version of who we are. For people who are on the fence about having kids, but you ended up having kids, I want to know. Stitch them. So I did comment under this video, but I can yip yip about this all day, so I decided to stitch it too. But I see people talking about their experience with motherhood and how much they regret it. And then also people being like, thank you so much for being honest about this. Now I know I don't want to have kids because it sounds horrible because you're all unhappy and regretful. Even though you said that you love your kids very much. And I just want to share a different tab, a different perspective on this. Because I see more people talking about their experience as a mother versus the partners that they have. And you should absolutely not consider entering parenthood at all, no matter what you want. And I know we like, obviously it's what we want. Like, do you want to be a mom? Obviously. But if you want to be a mom, you should think less about what you want as far as your experience out of life and look at the partner that you have, because you will not be a happy fulfilled mother and you won't have that beautiful experience that you hope to have if your partner is trash if your community is trash um and i'm sure people who are single parents or people who are parenting with someone that doesn't have their best interest they can tell you like that severely impacts your experience because as a parent you're pouring into a child or if you're a caretaker, you're pouring into a person, you're giving your all because that is your duty to them. You brought them into this world. You're supposed to take care of them, give them love, everything that they need to be a well-rounded, happy child person, you know. Um, so you need someone who cares about you, that cares about you as a person and not you as their wife, their girlfriend, their, um, you know, they care about you. So they look out for you. My husband knows that to love our daughter and to care for our daughter, he needs to care for me because how they say happy wife, happy life. If I'm happy and I'm well taken care of and I'm content and comfortable and I feel safe, obviously I can be a better parent to our child because I have that to give. And there's like a whole list of things. Anytime somebody asks me, I'm never going to convince anybody. That is not my ministry. I'm not going to tell you to have kids. I'm not going to tell you not to have kids. Don't have them until you want them. And you ain't getting no answer out of me. But if you ask me, the first thing I'm going to ask you about is your partner, your family. Because obviously, if you don't have a good partner who doesn't even care about you now, or he does stuff that I don't deem to be someone safe to have ch children with right now, I would tell you not to have kids, baby. No matter if you want them or not. Because this is your life. Like, depression is real. Anxiety is real. It is so real, y'all. Like, we have to, have to, have to. Hey, baby, honey. Hey, honey, bunny. Babies. Yeah, those are babies. <gasps> wow. Um, we have to look out for ourselves in order to look out for our kids. 
our future kids. Like it is so important. And yeah, so just think about that first, if you're considering it or not. Um, yeah, that was my TED talk, okay? You're on the fence about having kids, but you ended up having kids. I wanna know, stitch this. Or Here's the quick backstory. I wanted kids, my wife did not. Before we got married, we had a conversation. I basically said, I could be happy not having kids with you. And she said the reverse. Um, if she was ever gonna have kids, it would be with me. Great. We get married, five years go by, she's almost 40, which is was the cutoff date that we decided. So we say, let's try. Um, and now here we are. We have an 18 month old and this is where we're at. All joy and no fun. Uh, it's the title of a book and a saying or whatever, and it very much encompasses the experience that we've had. We had a really rough first year, uh, early pregnancy, complications, NICU, small baby, feeding problems. It was very stressful up until 13 or 14 months. And at this point, the difficulty of parenting shifted from the actual baby and keeping them alive, which we could do, to ourselves and us as a couple. And that has been so much more difficult than actually like parenting itself. The good news is it has gotten easier on all fronts every day, even just a little bit. And I can see a future in the next year or so in which fun is comes back into our relationship and to our lives. And that's a hard selling point to tell someone to tell you that you may not have very much fun for three, maybe four years. And I know there are plenty of people that have kids and they love it and they would tell you the exact opposite, but that just hasn't been our experience. So would I do it again with the knowledge that I currently have? Yes and no. Here's the no. I still maintain that my wife and I could have a very fulfilling and full life without children, except you would need to completely erase all of the knowledge and my the, the existence of this tiny human from my brain. If that could be done, then yes, I could do a child-free life. And the reason the no is obviously because we love this child, but also this experience has been way more impactful and different than anything else in my life. I can't even compare it. I had cancer when I was 19 and I, I had like a 50% chance of living and that doesn't even come close to comparing how world altering this experience has been. And I, now that I, I know, I don't want to unknow. I will say we've asked this question of some of our friends who we feel like had similar outlooks about children and pretty consistently, they have said something along the lines of, I started to love being a parent and I started to have a lot of fun at around the age three or four. Okay. Again, I know that's kind of a hard selling point. What I'm about to say is not helpful, but oh, it sounds like you could have kids and the beginning part might be really hard and you would feel like you've lost a lot of yourself, but you get it back and ultimately you wouldn't regret your decision. And also you could not have kids and you would have a great life and you wouldn't have any regrets. And I think both decisions are valid. There is a tiny, small little silver lining to uh, being on the fence um, if you decide to try and have kids. And that is that you are okay if it doesn't work out. Um, and so the act of conceiving a child becomes so much less stressful. We have so many friends that desperately wanted kids or are trying to have kids and they are struggling and it is not a fun experience and it's just stressful and that sounds awful. So I guess there's that, I don't know. Good luck, you'll be okay either way good way now that you have kids or like what what is the feeling hi new mom here uh, my son is a year old and I wanted to sit just because we felt the exact same way and to answer your question we 
are very happy. Now, granted, he's only a year old, all right, so we are in the beginning stages of things. However, we also were debating if we wanted to have kids. And what got us to decide that we really, truly wanted kids was someone told us to look at our lives 20, 30, 40 years from now and say, how do you picture your lives when you're retired, when you're older? Do you picture yourselves, you two together alone? Or do you picture it with a whole family around you? Because you have to make a family, unless you get adopted by a family, which would be cool. When I thought about that perspective and not just looking at the now, but looking at the future and seeing what type of future did I really want, I wanted a family surrounded me. I want I wanted a family, kids, grandkids, all that around me. And I realized that's what I truly value is leaving a legacy behind, leaving something behind of myself. Um, so yeah, that's what made us decide to have kids uh, because I don't regret it. Now we're trying for another one here because I hear it's easier to uh, have more than one so that they can <laughs> occupy themselves. But I don't regret it. I don't regret having kids, but it's not for everyone. And the best advice I could give someone to is find the partner who's your best friend, find the husband, find the wife that you would be happy to bring a, to bring a kid into this world with because that is no joke. Um, I, I'm so happy for, and also find a community. Um, that was one of my biggest things with me and my husband was one of the biggest hiccups that I almost didn't have kids because of it was I wanted to make sure I couldn't do it on my own because I've never had a huge motherly calling. I've never wanted to raise a ton of kids by myself. I've never wanted to be a stay at home mom. I'm not a stay at home mom. Um, so I have a community and people around me to support um, my husband's, my mother-in-law is one of the best people I know. She watches my son a couple days a week for me to have freedom to be able to work part-time. So with that, if you know that you're not called to do this by yourself, find the community around you that can help you because it takes a tribe. It takes a village to raise a child. For people who are on the fence about having kids, but you ended up having kids, I want to know stitch that yes yes and no i found out i was having a baby three four months before i got married and a month before i went on my hand do i'm not a massive baby person i'm a bit more of a baby person now but before if there was an option to play with a dog or a baby i would always choose the dog i just i just don't really didn't really get them so when i had a baby and I had to care for it and like change its nappy, put clothes on it, on them and just do everything that's involved with a baby. I had never done anything like that before. And you know what? It's fine. It's great. It's amazing. We accidentally made a full human being. Like that is absolutely amazing. And I am so, 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 so grateful of the journey we've had because Touchwood, like, she's really healthy. Like, I, ha I got pregnant without really realising. <laughs> um, I had a good pregnancy. I had a good labour. She breastfeeds. Like, like, it's amazing. She's amazing. And I don't want to look like I'm slagging her off. But equally, I'm not one of them people that's like, it's the best thing in the whole entire world. Like, it's not, it's not the best thing in the whole entire world, but the fulfillment, I think, makes it the best thing in the entire world. So before I had a baby, like, I was like, gym, like, exercise, like, hair, nails, lashes, all that shit, like, tan, like, I wash my face and clean my teeth and maybe put a little bit of bronzer on on the morning at, like, six o'clock, and then that's it. I don't look in the mirror all day. And... I don't care, like, I don't care how I look. Like, I want to look presentable and I like to look nice, but I would just much rather just not do that. <laughs> and that's just me, like, personally. Like, good on you if if you want, you do whatever suits you. This is this is me, not you. This is me. <laughs> um, hormones. So people will say, can't be that bad because you have more than one. Labour can't be that, that bad because people have more than one. No, 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 no. Hormones make you do that. And without those hormones, we wouldn't be here. Okay. <laughs> um, like, 
at like three months, like when she was three months old, like I would have had another one then and there. Like I would probably still have another one now. And and mine doesn't sleep. I think you're fine if you get one that sleeps because you're doing something you've never ever done before. Like you might have cared for babies before, looked after them, you might be a, nurse, a nanny, all that shit. But it is a completely different thing when you've got them 24 seven. Oh, you can't edit, you can't edit on a stitch video. Not that I can work out. So I'm sorry if I'm rambling, which I am. Um, so yeah, your hormones will get you through. Your hormones will do it and you'll be fine. Once you're on the roller coaster, you can't get off the roller coaster and you just have to keep going. Um, but I would always say, you do you before you have a baby. Like, I'm so glad we all went traveling before we like had a baby, went traveling. We used to go on holiday a lot. We used to do stuff with our lives and I'm so glad we did. Um, like, if you wanna wait, you wanna wait. But I personally, I'm so glad. I've done it at 27. I'm ho hopefully going to have another one before I'm 30. And then, like, we're relatively young and fun. And we've got the energy for it. But I think I probably would have waited a bit longer. And, like, just live my life as much as I want. Well, that would be my advice. Live your life and then have one. People say, like, your life doesn't stop when you have a baby. Like, they're probably not going to be talking about this on the video, are they? <laughs> but, yeah. That, that that's my version of motherhood to you i'm worrying because i can't edit the video i've come across how i've come across but i hope i've come across as a realistic mom because i love her so much i've really sagged her off but i love her so much like i would never ever want to be without her and i'm never without her like sometimes like i'm waiting for her to wake up and i'm like ellie no no you've waited for us to go to sleep the lady just say the word regret like you're not going to regret having a baby. Your life will be fulfilled. You'll get through it. And I just think, like, oh, I'm so excited for, like, when they're, like, my age and we can all go out as a family. <laughs> I mean, that's ages away. I don't really think I'll get my point across well. Um, like, I don't know, just to have, like, a full human that's me. Like, that's great. And, yeah. It's just shit, but you enjoy it. It's shit, but you'll enjoy it. You'll look like shit. I mean, you might not. You might be better at it than me. But I just hate being away from her. So that's why I always look like shit. But, yeah. That's my take on motherhood. As chaotic as it is, that is my life. Chaotic. Please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. I'd love to know what you think about this amazing conversation down in the comment section, okay? Because, like, I find this conversation entirely very, very interesting. Because I get some people here on the comment section, like, really, like, but they don't know if they will do or they don't. Some of you guys here on this channel, you guys did that. But those of you that have had kids, those of you that were on the fence of having kids and eventually had kids, please, I would love to know your own response down in the comment section. I noticed that a lot of the people that stitched this video were people that already had, like, just little kids and all that. I want to know for people, because I know I have some older people here on this channel. So I want to know from the older ones, were you on the fence of having kids? And when you have kids, was it something you regret? Was it something you, you are excited? Was it something that was more fulfilling for you? If you can go back in time, will you redo it again? I understand the fact that you guys love your children. Definitely, you will love them. It's not taken from the fact that you love your children. I know that what we're asking or what we want to know is that, will you do it again? Like, if you know all what you know now and all the experience and you have that knowledge inside of you, will you make that decision of having another human being? We'd love to know your own take on this, but please keep it respectful. Here on this channel, we're allowed to disagree, but we'll do it in a respectful way. So go ahead, feel free, share your own opinion, but please, as always, be respectful, okay? So here is my own thoughts on this whole um having a child being on the fence if you're going to regret it i'm child free i'm one of those people that i'm on the fence like really seriously i'm more of a child free like 98 percent it's just two percent and i've said it a couple of times the only reason why i want to have a child which is not one of the obvious reasons why people want to have kids like na 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 the only reason I want to have kids is that I feel like I'm a very strong personality, especially in my society, my culture, and having a girl child will help me raise a stronger woman, which I feel like there should be more of my type in the world, especially in my society that thinks like 
I do that are very intentional about life because yeah, my society, in my culture, society are the ones that define the paths you go through on life. Uh, I know a lot of people that are not authentically happy and they are not living their best life. So that's the only reason I would want to have child. So that's the only reason I'm on the fence. But when you come to oh having a child and all that, if some of you guys don't know, okay, before I go and I went on and said, you know what, I don't, I'm not going to have a child, like I want to go child free, I was actually trying to conceive. I actually had several pregnancy. By now, I should have had a child that's like almost 10, 10 or 10 years old already. I had multiple pregnancies. I had miscarriages. I had stillbirth and all that. So I know how, what pregnancy does to your body and all that. Um, and then I have friends. I have sisters. I have brothers. I have family members that have kids that I am actively in their life. Like I'm almost like a second mom to these kids. So I kind of have a feeling of what it is to have, be a mom and then to crown it up I am the first daughter so I practically I raised the two last kids of my mom my baby brother my baby sister I almost seen as their mother because I raised them so I kind of first I know how it is to have a tiny human being trying to help them navigate life I, I have first-hand experience on that. And also, I've had first-hand experience of what pregnancy does to your body and all that and all that. So this is my own take on this. If you choose to have kids, do it because you want to do it, not because society push you to do it. Like um, somebody said on the stage, like, you know, whatever way you choose to go with, there are people that have kids that they love their life, they are living their best life, they are able to navigate life, and it makes them feel very happy, it fulfills their life. Why there are people that don't have kids? Like, I've said it, like, when I make that decision, like, I'm not going to have kids, the way my life is, like, I love my life so much, like, I love that freedom that comes with it. And the truth is that everybody around me, my mom, everybody, they keep telling me, and even myself keeps telling me that I will be an amazing mom. And I have like nieces, nephew that I'm like their mom. I'm like their, <laughs> I'm, I'm their mom. I'm their second mom. But you see that time, that freedom, that me being very intentional about my life and just being very purposeful, living my life. I don't want to trade it out for anything. Like. When I think about it, like, I don't want to. If I really want kids, like, nah. I feel like whatever decision you choose to take in your life, whether you want to have kids or go child-free, be very intentional about it. Ask yourself, is this what you really want? And be very cautious of what comes with it. Ever, whatever way you choose to choose, live your life, there's always what comes with it. Are you ready to deal with it? Do you see yourself in that route? But those people that are having kids, like the lady that was talking about having kids by having family and all around, that is not guaranteed. That's why I was rolling my eye responding to that. It's not a guarantee that you're going to have your children, you're going to see your children, and then you're going to see your children have children. It's not a guarantee. For me, that is the wrong reasons to have kids. For me, if those are the reasons why you want to have kids, those are the wrong reasons because that may not actually happen. So what will happen to you? Will you not be miserable? Will you not regret having kids? For me, just be very intentional. Ask yourself, is this what you really, really want? Do your research to know what pregnancy does to your body, what children does to you, how much it costs, financially, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. Are you ready for that? And listen to other people's story, how they strong. And then watch people around you that have kids, how they live their life. And watch people that don't have kids, how they live their life. And ask yourself, what part of life do you want to be in? I don't know if I'm making sense. Anyway, guys, please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. I'd love to know what you think about this amazing conversation down in the comment section. But please keep it respectful as always. You're on this channel. We're allowed to disagree, but we do it in a respectful way. So feel free to share your opinion. I'd love to read from you guys. I'm super excited to read you guys' comment on this conversation. I'm super excited. Go ahead and share this video with somebody that you want to be part of the conversation because that's what we do here. We have banging conversation so go ahead and share this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up smash the like button because this helps youtube to push out my content for more people to see and that will be supporting this channel and this girl yeah with that i said subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in my next video Doozy.